Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you all? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEVA Sony School. I am Muhammad Ali Amin Opu, an assistant teacher of mathematics, National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Dear students, I am going to take a math class for the student of class 2. So, our today's topic is fill in the blanks. Okay, it's part 1. Fill in the blanks, part 1. And uh, today's lecture number is 21. You have a homework. Your homework number is 17. The students, as a homework, your homework number 17 is same. This means that we will solve how many fill in the blanks. You need to solve that one in your HW copy. Okay. Now, we'll solve some fill in the blanks here. It's your CW and HW. The students, fill in the blanks. We'll solve 1 to 12 today. Okay. In the next class, we'll solve, inshallah, from... 13 to 25. Now look at these questions. Question number one is 153 plus 27 equal to blank. It's a simple addition, my dear students. Do the rough and we should write down the answer directly here. 153 plus 27. So 7 and 3 makes 10. 0 will be there. 1 is in our hand. 5 and 2 makes 7. 7 and, and 1 makes 8. It will be 8, 8 is the single digit number and 1 will be there. So 180 is the answer for this blank. Okay, you can write down 180. Okay, now the next one, number 2 is 365 is blank less than 400. So we need to write down in the blank, 365 is how much less than 400. That means we need to subtract 365 from 400 so do this rough here again it's 400 minus 365 okay so from 0 we need to subtract 5 it's not possible then we can consume 1 here okay so it become 10 from 10 we need to subtract 5 it will be 5 then it becomes this one will add it will be 6 and 6 becomes 7 now subtract 7 from 0 it's not possible again so again consider 1 in the left side of 0 so it will become 10 subtract 7 from 10 7 8 9 10 it will be 3 now this 1 will come with this 3 and 3 become 4 subtract 4 from 4 it will be 0 0 in the left side not valuable okay so 35 will be our answer for question number 2 okay it's 35 <coughs> This means my dear students now it is 365 is 35 less than 400 okay now question number three is 40 tens plus 20 ones equal to how much 40 tens equal to how much and 20 tens equal to how much we need to find out individually and then we need to do the addition the students is very simple look at the rough here i'm doing it's 40 tens 40 tens 400 is equal to how much? Equal to 400. Because, my dear students, how we can write down this one? Look, it's 2 tens equal to how much? 2 tens means 2 and a 0 for this 10. It makes 20, right? And, my dear students, 9 tens equal to how much? 9 tens equal to 9 and a 0. 90. Okay. So, like this, 40 tens equal to how much? 40 tens means 40 and a 0. So, 40 and a 0 makes 400. Okay. And we need to add with the 400, we need to add 20 ones. 20 ones equal to how much? 20 ones. This is 20 ones equal to 20. It's 2, 0, 20. So now add it, it's 0, it's 2, it's 4. So 420 will be our answer. Okay. So 420 will be here. 4, 2, 0. Now question number 4 is 40 tens plus 6 tens equal to how much we can write down this answer in two ways my dear students we can write in two ways how it into is it's 40 tens look here is 40 tens 40 tens both are in tens both the units are tens 40 tens plus 6 tens so 6 tens is equal to how much if we add this one it will be 6 it will be 4 so 46 tens okay the answer will be 46 tens you can write down directly this answer 46 tens or you can write down in number because 46 tens equal to how much we know that 46 tens equal to 46 and a 0 
okay 46 tens means how much 46 and a 0 for the unit tens okay so you can write down 460 in the answer or you can write down 46 tens any one okay not the both the answer okay anyone you can write down i am writing 460 okay 460 the next one is question number five insert greater sign less sign or equal sign in this blank okay it's 400 248 and the right number is 238 which number is greater obviously 248 is greater because in the highest place value look my distance is 248 and 238 so first of all we should look at the greatest place value greatest place value is 100 okay it's also 100 is 2 and this number is 2 so this 2 greatest place, uh, greatest place value is equal that's why we should go to the right size place value in the right side we have tens place in the board of the number and tens place has 4 and this tens place has 3 look 3 is smaller than 4 that means 4 is greater than 3 that's why this is greater so 248 is greater that means we need to give the greatest sign here okay and do you know that crocodile will eat the greatest number okay or you can say that there will be the greatest uh, when you consider this as a cup then the t will be um, more than t will be uh, consumed here okay in this place so we will write down this sign it is called greater sign okay greater sign will be here in this because 248 is greater than 238 next number is question number six question number six is what comes just before the blank okay after the blank we have the number for uh, 800 okay so before number means we need to subtract one only from the given number now subtract one from the 800 if we subtract one it's zero we need to subtract one from zero we need to consider one in the left side of zero it will be 10 now so subtract one from 10 it will be nine again it is become a one again take care of the one it will be become 10 so subtract this one from 10 it will become again say nine okay now this one will come here this one need to subtract from eight so subtract one from eight it will be one two three four five six seven eight that means seven okay so it will be seven in here so the before number of 800 is 799 okay right here 799 okay question number seven subtract the smallest three digit number from the greatest three digit number we need to know what is the greatest three digit number and what is the smallest three digit number the students we need to subtract get a uh, smallest three digit number so smallest smallest three digit number number is what a smallest three digit number is one one here and two zeros makes a smallest three digit number like uh, we can write down my students first of all con uh, clear this concept of a smallest number and greatest number we have the digit from one to nine right from one to nine one two three up to eight and nine so from this nine digit the smallest number is one and the biggest number is nine that means the smallest one digit number is one and the small uh, biggest one digit number is nine if the question is what is the smallest two digit number then after nine which number comes it is ten one and zero ten immediate next number of nine is ten and it's a double digit first number it's a two digit first number is ten that's why it is the smallest number or you can consider one one at first and a zero it makes two digit smallest number okay and the two digit greatest number will be what greatest number will be two nine 9 and 9 99 will be two digit greatest number okay like this way the three digit smallest number will be 1 and 2 0 and three digit greatest number will be 3 9 9 9 9 okay now the question is we need to subtract three digit smallest number from three digit biggest number okay so already i have write down the smallest uh, three digit number is 100 and biggest or greatest you can write down greatest greatest three digit number so 
So greatest is number is three nine. Okay, number is three nine 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 nine. Now subtract this one. Subtract zero from nine, it will be nine. Subtract zero from nine, it will be nine. Subtract one from nine, it will be eight. So eight hundred ninety nine will be our answer if we subtract three digit smallest number from the three digit greatest number. Okay, we'll find out eight hundred and ninety nine. Okay, now the next problem is how many tens are there in 520? The students, you know the place value, but look at the question. There is no question about the hundreds place or ones place. We need only to know the tens place. So 520, it is ones place and it is tens place. We have find out already, okay. In the tens place, we have two, but we can consider this one is also a tens place because the questions no said that there is no hundred place there is no ones place so ones place we need to omit and this will be our tens place value okay the tens place number will be 52 okay in the number 520 how many tens are there in 52 sorry 520 it will be 52 tens okay it 52 tens are there because conversely we can say that 52 tens equal to 5 to 52 and a 0 so it becomes the same okay so it will be 52 tens my dear students the last uh, uh, four questions are so easy look question number nine one book cost taka four so how much will four books cost one books cost is how many one book cost is four taka so four books cost is how many it will be four multiply four that's equal to 16 taka isn't it so easy it is 16 taka you can write down tk 16 now the next one is question number 10 156 minus 0 we need to subtract 0 from something then the number will remain unchanged because we need to subtract nothing 0 means nothing so the new number will remain unchanged it's 156 remain unchanged okay question number 11 is place value of 7 in 768 is what my dear students the number is 768 the number is 768 8 is in ones place 6 is in tens place and 7 is in hundreds place and the question is place value of 7 in this number is what the place value of 7 is 100 so it will be place value of 700 right now isn't it Baba? It's seven hundreds. If that's equal to what number it will become? It will be seven hundred. You can write down the place value of seven in this number is seven hundreds, or you can write down this number directly seven hundred. Okay. So write down here seven hundred. I am writing seven hundred. You can write down any one seven hundreds or this number seven hundred. Okay. The next one is last one is insert greater less or equal sign in this blank in the left side of this blank we have six tens in the right side of this blank we have 65 okay six tens equal to how much six tens equal to six and a zero it is 60 and in the right side we have 65 so these numbers are not equal but 65 is greater than 60 so we should write down a smaller sign here because 60 is smaller than 65 we will write down this sign here okay in this last question this is less than 65 okay the students i hope you have understood the today's lecture and you have the homework and the same homework is that means you need to write down all the blanks in your assigned sw copy and you need to submit the sw copy in every saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m uh, see you again inshallah with a new topic in a new class till then allah Hafiz.